Congratulations, your file is now going into underwriting. What do we mean by your file is going into underwriting? So basically what we've done is we've run your loan through either Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac's automated underwriting system, like a computer system. It says that the loan is approved and that's why we're at this next stage. At that point we gathered all your information. You went through that stage already. Um, sorry if there was frustration, but um, and thank you for those who cooperated with us real well and got us everything really quick. Uh, so now it goes into underwriting. What do we mean by your file is going into underwriting or we submitted your loan to the underwriter? Okay, we take, we've taken all your information and it's this information down below. We've taken your income, your employment histories, your credit reports, your savings account, bank statements. Um, in most cases at this point yet, we don't have an appraisal because we don't want you to pay for an appraisal, have that expense, and in most cases it's, it's on average $450. We, won't, we don't want you to have that expense if you do not get completely approved. Okay, so basically we send in all the information. It usually takes between two, two and five business days, um, depending on the workload and the flow of business at that time but then what happens is a person kind of goes through the automated findings that we have so let's think of it as we we run your loan through a computer system it sends back at okay your loan is approved and now we have to prove the things that we put on your application meaning we said that you work at XYZ company and make X amount of money how do we prove that well bank statements or I'm sorry pay stubs and tax returns and W-2s so we submit that information. Your employment history, a lot of times we'll get a verification of employment to prove when you started, how long you've been there, and how your pay is broken down. Credit history, we have a credit report. Savings and source of money, we have your bank statements. So we send that information into a person, a physical person to review. They then will come back and do three things. They will approve your loan based on the guidelines. And this is an FHA loan that I'm discussing, but it's the same thing if it's not an FHA loan. They will suspend your file because let's say we're missing or a pay stub's old or there's a deduction on the pay stub that we missed uh, that there's, you know, we, they want to find out what it is so they can factor that into the whole equation or it's denied and that means something is wrong um, and you're going to get a prompt or an email from us each stage, of the, uh, each stage that we hit of this to let you know that you have passed to the next stage. So now the underwriter, let's, let's assume in this case they approve it. We come down here. There's going to be two sets of uh, conditions that we need to get. One is prior to loan docs. So those are things that we need to get cleared prior to being able to set a closing. Okay. A lot of times uh, we have a purchase and an attorney might come back and say, well, we don't have title yet. We need to clear to close first. That's wrong. I need that to get my prior to docs condition. So there's going to be multiple things that we might need uh, prior to docs. And then there's things prior to closing. Uh, so at the closing table, let's say prior to docs, um, a good example is, you know, your ID is illegible. Um, we need an updated, you, you need to bring money to the closing. We show that you have it, but we want to see, the, make sure the account that we have, the bank account that we have showing uh, where it's coming from, in fact, it's coming out of that account. So if you give us a Citibank uh, bank statement, but you come to your closing and you drew that money off a Chase account that we don't have, it's not going to work. So that might be a prior to closing condition. Okay, so basically, and this kind of explains a little bit of this, what I'm talking about too, uh, where it says your file meets Fannie Mae or FHA guidelines initially, your file was electronically underwritten and approved. Uh, a computer or artificial intelligence is the one that makes the final decision. So again, we put your loan in the system, a computer reads your data, spits out the approval, and then we start running through this process. So that's basically um, what we mean by your loan is in underwriting or has been submitted. So again, if you don't hear from us for two, three, four, five days, don't freak out. When you want to freak out is when you get a suspense or a deny from us, and it'll be prompted the, immediately once we get one of those. Otherwise, you're going to get an approval, and that, in most cases, is going to prompt the appraisal or a set to closing. So that's basically what that is, and well, congratulations. You're on to your next step. If you have any questions, though, please give us a call, 630-338-1160. Take care. Have a great day.